Okay guys, um, just testing the accuracy of some of my uh, test equipment here today. Uh, you can see under here I got a new new toy under there. I'm gonna show you. Um, but I'm gonna start with a with a baseline so I can check to see how accurate these test tools I'm buying are. Makes sense. Um, it's not much useful, not very useful to you if it's not accurate. So, and as you see, I have a glass of ice water here in this lovely pink cup um, and it's stabilized or whatever let the ice melt in there a little bit so the temperature should be about consistent and you see the fuel piece one about 32.4.5 that's you know, that's pretty darn close that's uh, very responsive too Take it out of the water. Yeah, so it's 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 within a degree, and I'm I'm good with that. Now, now more next thing I'm gonna do is go uh, secure this to a known to to a pipe with a little Velcro strap, and then I'm gonna put see what temperature it reads. Then I'm gonna put my field piece clamp on there. This guy. And see what it reads and see if these this thermocouple this little bead thermocouple and the clamp thermocouple from field piece agree and if that is if those are good then i'm going to compare the field piece clamp to this new uh yellow jacket it's a, it's a sub superheat and sub cooling calculator so basically you enter your suction pressure in there it has a built-in pt chart and you clamp your temperature on there it's like superheat or subcooling, and it uh, makes a calculation for you. Now, um, I swore I'd never do something like, never buy a tool like this or digital gauges because I just don't need that, whatever. Uh, well, <clears throat> in reality, in, uh, in practice, sure, this, is, this has been a very accurate thing for me to get temperature with. But I find sometimes when I'm starting the unit back up after uh, putting the charge back in or whatever that I want to look at the amp draw and a couple other electrical things maybe and I want to be doing my superheat and subcooling calculations at the same time. So this is just a, a way for me to do that. Um, so like I said, to me this gives me um, most of the benefits of the digital gauges and I can still uh, uh, have my way in and, and uh, use the analog gauges like I like. So, um, so a little more on this one. Okay, so our uh, beaded thermocouple re is reading about 66 degrees, 65.7, 65.8. So, we'll see how this clamp compares to it. Okay, let me go like this. Okay, so this one's reading about 66.6.7, and my other one was reading about <coughs> a little bit under 66. So they're within half a degree, you know, within one degree. That's good. Now let's see how our uh, Mr. Yellow Jacket uh, number 69196. Uh, compares up with that. So this is new. Yellow Jacket just came out with it. Um, now, if you're looking, I bought I bought this one without doing too much, uh, maybe without doing enough research. Um, it was about I think I paid about 115 or so for this little guy. Um, and Master Cool, there's one of these things where they have the same, exact same thing. There's a Master Cool brand. Um, as the exact same thing. I, I just so happened to open this thing up and there's a mass the board in there says master cool um, So it is the exact same unit exact same interface nothing is going to be better about the yellow jacket one um, But oh well, that's what you get for brand loyalty. I like yellow jacket stuff So I bought it, but uh, anyways the uh, master cool one will be about 80 bucks. So you can save 
save yourself, you know, uh, 30 or 40 bucks if you go with that one. But it seems like a worthwhile tool. Uh, I like it. So this clamp is still is, yeah, 66 and a half. So they're within half a degree. That's the field piece versus the field piece clamp versus the field piece uh, bead thermocouple. So we'll have to put this on here. Uh, take this little bread tie off, damn it. Wish I my, I forgot my hat cam today, folks. My bad. Right, 66 and a half. And we see here that with that clamp plugged into the yellow jacket clamp into the field piece, looking pretty accurate still, 66.2. So all of them are within a degree thus far. Now let's see if our handy dandy calculator is indeed as handy and dandy as it claims to be. Enter. Now it's waiting for your input from here. 66 degrees on the field piece. Let's see that holds. Uh, 68. Hmm. All right. Well, I wish that was. I mean, it's still within a degree and some change, but I wish it was. I wish it were closer. Hmm. Well, uh, that's interesting. I don't think it's enough to be alarming, since all, all, uh, all calculations of this nature are meant to be accurate within two or three degrees. So this is, you know, uh, good for that. But uh, so the field piece, all, all of them lined up the same on there. So I'm gonna call that pretty nice. And then this one is off by one degree. There you have it. I'm still going to use it though. Just wanted to see how accurate it was. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, here's the final uh, final verdict. Uh, as you saw, this one uh, was off by one degree as opposed to the, uh, the field piece, uh, which we calibrated with the ice water. Um, a lot of people don't I uh, don't consider it, but this is a very, very good way to get it done still. You do this and the little uh, Velcro strap, and it's pretty darn accurate. Um, so that's a good, good place to start. And then we compared it with the clamp, that on the pipe, and that on the pipe, and they were within a half a degree. And then we put this clamp from the yellow jacket, which is quite nice. Um, it's a very nice, sturdy clamp. Uh, I have no complaints about that. Um, so, and the clamp, nothing wrong with the clamp at all. I put the clamp on the field piece, and it was uh, just as giving me the same reading as that one within 0.2 degrees. And then I plugged it into this, and it was off by one degree. But we look over here on the spec sheet; it guarantees plus or minus 1.8. So. It has done everything uh, it asks. Would I recommend this tool to someone else? Mm, I'd probably get the Master Cool one, just to get a little cheaper. It's not just the exact same thing. Just doesn't say yellow jacket on it. Um, yeah. Uh, if you're you're old school, you're going for the you have analog gauges, but want to get some kind of electronic tool to help you with the uh, super heat subcooling. It's you know. It's a nice little unit. I like it. I'm gonna. I don't feel bad about buying it. So, um, should have a new tool video coming up here pretty soon. Uh, this this just shipped a little earlier than everything else, so I wanted to do just a little uh, calibrate your instruments uh, video. And if you ever find that your field piece is off, uh, you can take it apart 
and there was uh, an adjustment and you do it with the stabilized ice water. You just have to take this back part off and like hold the battery in with a rubber band or something. Um, and then you put your, your beaded thermal couple on there and the stabilized ice water and then you can make an adjustment to adjust it as close to 32 as your, uh, as your heart desires. So, so that's that. Field piece is a little more accurate.